Jennifer Richard Jacobson's middle grade adventure novel, Small as an Elephant, 2011, tells the story of a young boy's journey to find his way home after his mentally ill mother leaves him alone at a campsite. The book has received numerous award nominations and is beloved by both middle grade and teenage readers. Jacobson, the author of many children's novels, previously taught English to first graders. 11-year-old Jack Martell resides in Boston with his mother. While Jack is aware of his mother's struggles with mental health, he cherishes their time together and the love he has for her. When she announces a camping trip, Jack is thrilled. They embark on a journey to Maine, where the story unfolds. The tale begins with Jack waking up alone in the middle of the campground. The tent, their car, and most importantly, his mother, are all missing. While his mother has left him before, this abandonment is different, as he's far from home. Overwhelmed with fear, Jack is at a loss for what to do, finding solace only in a small toy elephant he carries with him everywhere. Jack initially attempts to contact his mother via her cell phone, but she doesn't answer. He explores the campsite, hoping she moved the car, but she remains nowhere to be found. Despite waiting for her return, Jack eventually realizes that she's truly gone. He doesn't want other families at the campsite to discover his situation, as it could lead to his mother being locked away for neglect. Hungry, without money, and nowhere to sleep, Jack decides he must come up with a plan. While keeping his predicament a secret, he begins seeking help and encounters a young boy named Aiden. Around the same age as Jack, Aiden proves to be a sympathetic companion who doesn't pry with too many questions. Jack skillfully deflects inquiries from Aiden's parents, assuring them that his mother has gone into town for supplies and will be back by nightfall. He understands that he'll need a new plan once night falls, but for now, he can only think one step ahead. Aiden extends an invitation to join him for a swim, and they make their way to a nearby lake to enjoy a refreshing dip. However, in the excitement, Jack forgets to remove his cell phone from his pocket before jumping into the water, rendering it useless. He attempts to dry the phone in the sunlight, but it's a futile effort. With no way to contact his mother, he conceals his worries from Aiden and pretends that everything is fine. While waiting for his mother, Aiden's family offers Jack some food. Jack accepts the meal, but quietly plans his next steps. He realizes he must embark on a search for his mother on his own. Pretending that his mother has returned, he leaves Aiden's family behind and slips away when their backs are turned. Jack heads toward Getty's bar and restaurant in the local area. While at the bar, he overhears a sailor named Big Jack discussing a woman who has run off with a yacht captain, supposedly bound for the Bahamas. Big Jack questions her mental state. Jack becomes convinced that this woman is his mother, prompting him to flee the scene. He determines that his only remaining option is to walk back to Boston on his own. However, Jack underestimates the immense distance between Maine and Boston. He struggles to find shelter and loses track of time during his journey. Starving and exhausted, he knows he must avoid drawing attention to himself, as people will become suspicious if they see a young boy wandering alone. Jack eventually discovers that his grandmother has reported him as missing since he hasn't returned from the camping trip. Jack's emotions churn with anger and frustration because he anticipates that everyone will blame his mother for abandoning him. He grapples with his own culpability in the situation, recognizing that his actions may have driven her away. As he continues his arduous journey, his frustration intensifies, and he begins to believe that he bears responsibility for his mother's disappearance. It seems evident that she wanted to escape him, and he ponders whether he's been a terrible son. Despair envelopes Jack, but his misery is interrupted when he encounters Big Jack, who has been actively searching for him after recognizing his picture on television. Despite his initial reluctance, Jack decides not to return home immediately. Instead, he implores Big Jack to take him to the zoo to fulfill his lifelong dream of seeing a real elephant, an experience his mother had denied him. Big Jack agrees, with the condition that Jack must eventually return to his grandmother. At the zoo, Jack finally gazes upon the majestic elephants he longed to see. Yet, as the visit concludes, his grandmother is waiting for him. Jack's encounter with Big Jack has led him back to his family, and Big Jack departs. Inquisitive about what the future holds, Jack inquires with his grandmother, who reassures him. She explains that his mother is now in the hospital, and she will take care of everything. 
Jack can look forward to reuniting with his mother once again. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.